These are the keys. And this is our new home for what? Mexico. We love living alternatively. We have been for the last eight years. We started this channel converting a van and driving it to Guatemala with our two dogs, Bella and Izzy. We then took on the massive challenge of restoring an abandoned hunt camp to an off-grid homestead. It's all but an adventure, a huge learning experience. We have never shied away from trying something new. In 2019, while traveling in our van, we fell in love with Baja, Mexico. And about a year ago, we went property hunting through the desert, coastal roads, and remote towns. It wasn't until we got to this exact spot, we said, this, this is it. We couldn't believe it. We bought our first piece of land in Baja. I feel like I could pass out. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's raw, untouched, but we see so much potential. Which means there is nothing but cacti and desert sand, and we are starting from the ground up, which means we need some place to live while we build. Are you coming? I'm so excited, let's get on the road, girl. For many months now, we have been scouring the internet for an RV to live in while we build our home in Mexico. It just seems ideal for a trailer, travel trailer, to do that as they are so spacious. And we think we may have just found the perfect one. Well, there's actually three and we're headed there now to look at it. The sun is currently setting, so we're gonna be looking at these in the dark. I never thought we would be these people ever, not in a million years looking at an RV or a trailer, but I'm open to the idea. So we'll see what they're like. There is one that I'm eyeing and I hope it's as great as it looks in photos. We have to act fast because, well, it's kind of a sad story. An RV dealership in New Brunswick actually went under and an RV dealership here is taking all of the RVs. So they're coming from New Brunswick, which is a province over, pretty far drive. They're going fast because they are selling them at an unbeatable price. They even said, you better come now or they won't be here. And I know that's a sales tactic, but I truly know they are not lying after scouring the internet for so long. And Crystal actually found this ad. So I think that is a good sign that we're gonna be starting a new chapter, everyone. If there's anything about RVs, it's that they're all different shapes and sizes. We're on a mission to find something homey and that we can handle driving. This first RV is the one we have our hearts set on. Oh my. No way. Yeah, game Things here go on top of the table to make it a bit. Everything is dramatic and everything's made by Lipper. What room? This room. This is the best part. The second one is an RV mansion. Talk about an upsell. Barely any heavier. Whoa, this is a full blown house in yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a I will be going with the you guys. Yeah. Um, you have like an L shaped kitchen in here. Because it's bigger. It's fiberglass sided. Wow, spacious. And finally, this little one we really, really like, but it's a bit too small. What should we do? Should we get that one? We have to make the decision before 11 tonight. That's our key. We're RVers. This is a 30 foot travel trailer and it's about to go to Mexico. We've hardly ever towed much in our life at all. So this lesson was greatly appreciated. This trailer hitch has quite a few bells and whistles. Mr. Four ways. Trucky, meet trailer. Wow, she's big. How's your first time driving a trailer? Oh, I just have to uh, do one more thing. One second. How long are we? Truck plus 30 feet. So 50? And it's eight feet wide, right? Yeah. Whoa, that's like a shipping container wide. Trailer wives. It's pretty wide. How does it feel? Good. Like not like you've just driven? I feel good. It's around 4,000 pounds. Yeah, which is nothing for this truck. This truck can do 13, 14,000. 14,000 pounds. Sick. So we still have 10,000 pounds of towing capacity if you want to just throw another one on the back. Um, what about like tools? A couple more dogs, maybe a cat or a kitten. Okay. We're pulling up to our first stop sign, going slightly downhill, and it's braking super well. I feel like it just feels normal, like steady. Well, there's a cool braking mechanism. This trailer has brakes. Yeah, that's the main, cool. main goal. Or main purpose. Whoa. She's smooth. 
You smooth. All right, second turn onto a mainish road. Wonderful. You're natural. It takes me a little longer to get back in the lane, but. Yeah, but that's inevitable. You're long. Really cool. I can't imagine being on a windy road right now. Welcome home. I think it looks bigger than our house. <laughs> okay, this road wasn't meant for this purpose, but I have to say, one of the best things we built all year. We're gonna get this thing spun around right to the front of the cabin right now. The distance between the truck and the trailer is so much longer than every other tra trailer that I've driven. Trailer, trailer, trailer. That it is easier to back up. You're not jackknifing. Yeah. Okay, show them the keys. These are the keys, and this is our new home for what? Mexico. Look at it, Izzy. <laughs> well, we're gonna go inside and bring the girls in for the first time. We've never been RV owners before. We don't exactly know how they work. So this is going to be a learning process for all of us. This keeps your door shut, though. Yeah. When you're driving, they have really thought of everything. Like, you can tell they've been making these for a long time. It smells so good in here. Yeah, like new RV. Nice! Bella and Izzy, you girls ready? Ready to go in your home? Let's go! Let's go! Good girl there! Oh man! Wow! 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 That's Look at all the space! Really Do you love it? Girls, this is your trailer! Izzy, you have a couch! Up, up! Oh! Good wow. girl! In your own window! Let's get some lights on! Welcome to the trailer! There's a lot I love about this specific trailer. The girls have enough room to walk around. We have enough room to be in here. Bella's found her favorite spot. Quick tour. Dining room, bunk beds. We don't got no kids. That's my garage. <laughs> Gonna use that as storage. That's storage. Like a quarter of the RV. Yeah, I can't wait to take out these bunk beds and redesign something. Bathroom, toilet, and a shower. Haven't used the flushing toilet in about five years too. Lots of storage. Sky lit in the shower and a fan. The living room. This super comfy couch is also a bed and storage. Also there's storage under there too. There's storage everywhere. Cupboards and music, interior and exterior. We're ready. <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> are we gonna learn a salsa this year? <laughs> yeah, we should learn. We should. Our moves are locking. <laughs> Turn me around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Beach parties. Beach parties. Fridge and freezer. Kitchen area. Microwave, gas stove, sink. Popcorn. <laughs> I haven't used a microwave in like seven years. It's been so, so long since we've been on the road, like years. And as funny as it is, like I'm so pumped to get to some remote beaches and like see some really beautiful things along the way. But overall, we're gonna park at Walmart and we're gonna eat microwave popcorn. And that's <laughs> gonna be so awesome. I can't wait. I just think it's like... We're embracing it. We're embracing the trailer RV lifestyle and I'm ready. This is our panel here that controls everything. But this is the heating and the AC. My favorite part, the bedroom. Shut the door on us. This is why I love it, yeah. So we've got privacy. It's really nice to have all of our belongings not in the living area. A place to put all of our clothing, our camera gear, all of that stuff. There's storage on both sides of the bed and under the bed. And this is a queen size mattress that we're replacing with our Helix mattress. Helix offers premium mattresses that are customized to meet your needs. They come rolled up in a small box delivered to your door for free in the US. And Helix knows that everyone is different, that everyone has different needs. And so you can take a sleep quiz that is going to match you, your unique body type, and your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. There's nothing I love more than my bed at the end of the night and getting a restful sleep. Both Jazz and I sleep differently. I sleep on my back, Jasmine sleeps on her side. So when you take the sleep quiz, you can take it together. That way you find something that is the perfect compromise for both of you. I stripped the bed so you can see it. It's super comfortable. 
possible, the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses from their award-winning Lux and Elite collections to the Helix Plus, made for big and tall sleepers, as well as the Kid collection. If it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried yet, although I can confirm it is amazing, you have the Helix 100 night trial guarantee, where you have over three months to make sure it's the perfect mattress for you. Plus they have a 10 year warranty as well as financing options and flexible payment plans. We love our Helix mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new mattress, check out Helix Sleep, go to the link in the description or helixsleep.com forward slash fanwives. You'll receive 20% off your mattress. If you're an RV owner or you need a unique size mattress for your space, they have a sibling brand, rvmattress.com, with 22 different unique sizes with the same comfort. How do these lights work? Oh yeah, you just touch them. Pretty great. Bella is supervising. Come on, Bella. Are you happy? Happy. Oh. You wanna go in the toilet? Bella has nice space. So we do have an awning for outside, so we can still keep the view of the ocean. You have a nice house here. This is really cool. I love it. We're gonna have table, camping stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for all that. Bear, you don't even have to go underneath the RV to get shade. How excited are you? Exterior plugs, which is going to be amazing for building so we can plug all the tools into here. And then down here we have our stabilizers, a bunch of storage in this one. Spare tire. This is something we're new to. Black water, gray water. Outdoor shower. Exhaust, if you wanna plug in, we can run this. Another exhaust, fresh water, city water connection, storage. And something so funny about RVs, everyone, is they have little gutters. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally little houses. <laughs> a little gutter over there. <laughs> They're little houses. <laughs> but these houses have like 7,000 pounds of caulking on them and like they're... Thin as paper. Very, very thin. <laughs> what a funny vehicle. Okay, now this is the jerky part the hitch there are a lot of steps in order for you to hitch your rv trailer including these big sway bars up down this is running off the one battery that the rv comes with it's 50 amp hours and because we're going to be building in mexico and living in here running big tools. We are definitely going to be beefing up the electrical system in here because a 50 amp battery and I think a 100 amp solar panel is just not gonna suffice. So I'm probably gonna rip our van's electrical system out and figure out some things. Yeah. The really good thing is, is we are not moving into this RV totally blind as we have done road life for many years, many years ago and we knew what our electrical consumption was and our needs were so we know what we need in this to be able to live off grid in this rv as we will probably not be connected to electricity very many times at all and uh we still live off grid so we really know our needs oh. just in case you don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so we got the electricity yeah and if you ask me i would say this rig is perfect for the climate that we are taking off into there is essentially no rain where we're going and it's extremely dry. So when it comes to moisture and things like that, I'm not overly worried, which is a really good feeling, you know? Yeah, just look at it. One, I think the <laughs> RV trailer needs a name. So please drop them in the comments because all of you are the best at naming things and we just freeze. We I didn't even think, think of that. Yeah, it needs a name, you know? Oh yeah, she needs a good one. Yeah, we've got Clementine, Tangerine. Well, we don't have Tangerine no more. Okay. Okay, I can't think about her. Anyways, let's move on. This isn't where we parked our RV. We ripped out our van's electrical system because it's time to beef up this RV so it can go off the grid. The roof is so squishy. I know. Weird. <laughs> Very weird. The last, the last panel. panel. One, two. Three. Yeah, we're stacked with power. Cha-ching! All connected to that one. Plug and play. Adam would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Not plug and play for the last week. <laughs> we're rigging up our travel trailer, I can't believe I'm saying that, <laughs> with 1,335 watts of solar. Ideally, considering we know what our needs are, 
we're going to be going with a lot more power. And the reason for this is because one, we love to be off grid. Two, we don't mind RV parks, but if we can't get to one, we're going to need this much power. And in Mexico, if you don't know, a lot of the camping you do is dry camping. There isn't always power hookups. There isn't always water hookups. We need to be as self-sustaining on the road as possible. And that's the way we like to be anyways. These three panels actually are leftover from our crate of solar panels from our solar install at the cabin. So these are the last three and we're putting them to good use, driving them to Mexico. Also, another reason we're going with such a big system is I'm not sure if Crystal forgot or you all forgot, but we actually are building a house in Mexico and this is gonna be powering all of our tools in order to build that house. Zeke, let's tell him. I can't believe we fit three. I know. It's nuts. I actually thought we'd only be able to have one of these panels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just gonna follow the RVs manufacturer's caulking. Just, just, a, whole just a whole lot of caulking. It's actually because it's self-leveling, so you just apply a lot on and then you leave it. All right, we officially have three panels mounted to the roof. I think that means we're ready to go. No, we got to move Just it. kidding, just kidding. As you all know, we have been working hard at the homestead, and luckily our friend Adam is an electrician, and he's been building our system. He's giving us a full rundown. Adam, this is sick. Yeah. Look at how perfect 10 batteries fit in here. 10 a batteries? A pinky finger. <laughs> wow. Wow. It was this meant to be. And it's all making sense to Jazzy, the electrician. Inverter into this, back into this, so the whole RV is running through the five. So then whenever we third. plug it in, it's going to go to the it'll, there, it'll charge, charge the and then it's going to charge the batteries. Yeah. Cool. Wowzers. Welcome to RV Live. Yeah. <laughs> That's on. Wow. Come on, popcorn. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. All off grid. We checked out the other components, a 5,000 watt inverter and the solar charge controller. So you have everything. Fused and disconnected. Yeah. Adam sent us home with a going away present, a heat gun to monitor hot spots and stay safe. You're sleeping on a bomb. Right? Yep. In the van, we used to tighten our batteries every two weeks. Yeah. I got all this stuff to work. I've never really worked on RVs before, but this was a huge learning curve and it was awesome. Thank you so much. That's what <laughs> yeah. we love about you, Adam. You just want to keep just, learning new trades. I'll just take it all Just on. foundations, <laughs> electricity, RVs. What's next? Planes? Oh, a metal roof on Friday, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Roofing now. Roofing. Bye. Thank you for everything. You guys, safe trip. Thanks. We've made it to Canadian Tire. Time to make this RV a home. So many decisions. Now that's what you call a sale. 40% off. And now we can't forget about our supervisors. Perfect. There's a lot to an RV, eh? So much. Setting it up. We'll explain it all <laughs> once we actually get it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so exciting. First things first, converting our bunk beds into a walk-in closet. I just took off the first joist. And, like these are like finishing us. Yeah. But hey, at least they use four. Four. Each side, right? <laughs> Four finishing nails. <laughs> so we're going to use this entire space for storage. It is so much storage and because we're moving, we need to bring so many belongings. This is the perfect place to do it. Um, so this trim is going to have to come off though. We're just having a heyday. These came out so quickly, honestly, within minutes. As Jasmine mentioned, they use the funniest hardware to build these things. It actually blows my mind that someone was gonna be sleeping on this bed. To 
take a look at that space. It's a lot of space. Move around. I would like... That's wild. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Would you rather bunk beds or storage? But keep in mind... It depends like, on your lifestyle. There's also, that's a bed. That's yeah, a bed. That's like, a bed and that's a bed. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to like put fun things in here? Like... Yeah. I don't... I feel like I would rig this out and like if we ever do sell it, I would sell it like this is the storage area. Hi, Eleven. Are you ready to fit all of our belongings mm -hmm. in here? One weird thing I just noticed is there's no drawers. The cutlery. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that when we bought it. We bought a cutlery thing. Well, it's, you still need a cutlery thing. But you could do it vertically. Right. These are large, though. They large. Are, they're very large. If you had some proper shelving or organization in here, you could make this work yeah. easy. And I'm sure after we start living in it, we're going to figure it out. But right now, we didn't get any of that. All the way to the RV is going to be on this side. Well, no. all They put all the stuff there. All the appliances. It all evens out. True. Yeah, you're right about that. Honestly, it's just going to get parked soon, so. Cool. All right. Let's load it. Coaster. Yeah, those two belong together. Salt and pepper in here. Yeah. Food? Food will go in here? I guess so. Okay, cool. Perfect bed. That's so much space, man. Sweet. Girls. Now you can't trip over it. No, you certainly can't, unless you were walking into walls. <laughs> How many times in the van did we sp spill the girls water oh my gosh i forgot that's why you're that's saying. why i'm saying that yeah that's so funny oh my god boom that water dish was all over the van yeah pretty nice and out of the way if you ask me beautiful as you all know we love our helix mattress so we want to protect it because as you may not know there is a lot of moisture in RVs, so this is going to be a layer that we're laying down on top of the structure to create a gap so that there can be air circulation. We don't get things like mold. And we get good night sleeps forever. Cute. Decorative pillow makes it. I disagree. Extra things in the RV. <laughs> I think the light makes it, not gonna lie. Turn the light off. Light. Light makes it. So there's a few big reasons why we chose to go with an RV. One, the trailer truck setup will be great because we will all be more comfortable while driving and living. They are both spacious and they both have AC for the dogs. We will have a vehicle and a home. We can pick up supplies with ease when it comes time to build and relax after the workday. Like Jasmine said earlier, we are moving across three countries yeah from canada through the united states all the way to mexico and that is 7,300 kilometers or 5,000 miles wow we're gonna have sore butts yeah trucky's gonna be driving far trucky's really reliable and yeah. this rv doesn't have an engine which is why we don't want to break down the van. The van has an engine. We want something that we can leave in Mexico. I don't know if the van would necessarily make it to Mexico without breaking down a couple of times. And that will be okay one day, but while we're moving, probably not the greatest idea. I don't think we're gonna <laughs> live in this forever. No, we're gonna sell it when we're done. So if anyone wants it, let us know in the comments also, because yes. we we're will, selling it. We will be selling it when we're done. But yeah. as, for now, this is our home. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to Mexico, baby. Hell yeah. And I gotta learn how to drive it. <laughs> <laughs>